Hi everybody. Today, um, in terms of business reviews, um, I want to review um, a great company called Amazon. Um, this is not the Amazon Rainforest, but it's the Amazon the Retailer. Everybody knows Amazon since the early 90s, where they were um, basically a book retailer. It has grown dramatically and it has become retailer of, of almost everything. Um, under the sun. Um, this company provides great deals um, on almost everything. Um, you look up books on Amazon and you have a ton of books on Amazon. And usually they give you a discount almost even free for Kindle Unlimited. They even um, feature books on uh, digital versions, um, such as um, Amazon Fire, uh, Amazon Kindle. Uh, a lot of uh, good materials um, are now digitized because of Amazon. Compared to other major retailers like Alibaba, um, you can tell that Amazon is really legitimate in terms of um, using technology. Um, Amazon is uh, led by Jeff Bezos, um, who was uh, working in the financial industry, but decided but decided to move his uh, new business, Amazon, to Washington State, where Washington State does not have any um, corporate income tax, and that's why it attracted a lot of big uh, companies like Microsoft. So he was selling the Amazon Fire, um, a tablet based on Android but customized for uh, Amazon products and services. Um, without a doubt, this is a, a great company. Now it's evaluated over $300 billion. Um, compared to Alibaba, which went IPO a couple years ago, or a short time a while ago, um, it was evaluated um, more than Amazon and eBay combined. Um, so we can take a look at the charts. Um, you see like recently they just came out with earnings and it went up almost 10%. As you can see the chart is uh, very interesting. We look at it the two year period. As you can see um, since the IPO uh, of the Alibaba, which uh, said it evaluated the company is higher than Amazon when it IPO. Um, since then, Amazon has done nothing but increase its evaluation. Look at this. A consistent uptrend until the recent market, uh, general market downturn. But you see there's a general uh, uptrend to now is uh, almost $660 at 659 right now. Right now, um, as you can see, as I mentioned already, um, Amazon is evaluated higher than Alibaba. Um, in contrast, you look at Alibaba, which is uh, around 188 billion, that's it. Um, right around the IPO price uh, trading range, um, you can tell in a two-year trading chart. There was a lot of euphoria um, for this company. And it went as high as 117. And everybody went to the website, Alibaba.com, and actually saw um, what, what it was. Um, it's like eBay, a facilitator that doesn't um, any it doesn't invest in any mechanical technology to delivery. Um, it just facilitates people to buy and sell, like eBay. Um, so overall, you see uh, like a consistent downtrend, um, whereas reveal that you know it's not really you know like a tech-oriented company. Um, down back to seventy-six, seventy-seven dollars. And so you can add a comparison to uh, Amazon. 
Yeah, you see the red lines there, Amazon. Um, nothing but up. And Alibaba, like a slow grinding trend down. So you can see Amazon is uh, um, working it very well. Um, you can buy so many different things now with a good deal. Um, like, you know, um, uh, books on um, iOS. And you have uh, like uh, all the books that's even imaginable, po imaginably possible, where you have discounts uh, in digitized versions even cheaper on Kindle. So I've been following the duo, uh, proposed duo by Alibaba, saying that is like actually better than other companies, like giving the impression that um, it's valued higher. Um, does more things than p and conceivably possible when we know when we go to Alibaba it's just a um, general facilitator like eBay where people sell stuff and people buy stuff where the company it's just not the one that's actually selling um, which almost anybody can do now um, So before they had a like very you know old design uh, website um, things like that. Uh, you look for stuff, um, books on iOS. See if they have it. Load. Well, compared to eBay, it's similar. Um, You can see there's some books, um, but it's you're buying it from another seller um, who's a user of the website. Similar to here, um, all these different companies that you're buying it from, uh, things like that. So all in all, um, when when the proposed duel came about, I can tell immediately when I follow this. Um, Alibaba IPO that um, I'm more uh, following of Alibaba um, and uh, no I mean uh, Amazon um, more legitimate than Alibaba I mean the the chairman whatever the CEO you call it of the Alibaba always comes out and talk you know selling his company and stuff uh, you know um, compared to Bezos it was like at his uh, or company to work on the technology and stuff like that you know you can tell the difference one's um, on the media one's on a tech and actually doing the stuff so all in all I follow this story um, between Alibaba and Amazon um, you can tell legitimately that you know Alibaba was like everybody can tell already you know um, such as uh, slow down trend and then you can see Amazon doing the high uptrend so you can tell from there yeah so um, Amazon as led by Jeff Bezos um, he's trying to sell the uh, Amazon Fire which is based on Android um, it's not um, this selling well um, as you know the based on Android is open source and there's also a lot of um, um, issues with open source um, with am open source uh, mobile OS if you read the news um, you know they sell um, the Amazon uh, Kindle Amazon Kindle Unlimited um, Amazon Prime a lot of uh, subscription based services which is a good strategy um, so you can basically um, have predictable revenue uh, Amazon Prime right here which is like about um, like low fee no monthly fee and you can access a lot of books you know Amazon Prime gives you free shipping unlimited photo storage and more 
Um, yeah, so if you buy a lot of stuff, you should use them. Um, products are sell at a deeper discount, and you can have um, um, Kindle Unlimited, which is part of um, Amazon Prime. You know, things like that. So I've been following the duel, this duel between the two companies for a long, long time, and I know that for sure that you know Amazon, um, having seen like technology t is like invested in like like uh, uh, quad copter delivery um, that are trying out um, and other things like um, Amazon Prime. Um, other things like robotics um, fulfillment. Um, those like when I saw those, I knew this company is, was uh, much more legitimate than uh, Alibaba. So all in all, this is the um, um, the business review and commentary on Amazon. Uh, thanks a lot. If you like the video um, and my opinions, uh, do try to subscribe and um, and like. Um, so you can learn more about you know different things about business and the ulterior issues with business. So all in all, um, Amazon's a great company. Thanks for watching. Yeah.